And we're back. Hi guys, this is 910, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Uh, last time we found a beautiful little crystal trident trinket and a uh, sunken ship, and then we battled a shark for it. It was sick, but then Ariel's meanie dad just came and broke it for no reason. But then he revealed that he knows who we are, and that we're the key bearer, and that we'll bring destruction, and blah 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 blah. He's just not a very nice person. We also saw that uh, Ariel was talking to an unsavory character, uh, and uh, they're about to make a deal, so we need to go stop that, I'm assuming, but I'm not quite sure exactly where we need to go, but we'll find out, I'm sure, eventually. Uh, I am completely out of MP, and I'm running low on health, so it's weird. I thought there should be like a save point or something in Ariel's Grotto. It seems like a good place for one, but... Oh, you know, whatever. Uh, I think I'm just running away. Because I am a little bitch. Alright, uh... So, I'm going to try and check out the palace. Because that just seems a logical place to go. Because I kind of just want to take that key and shove it up. Uh, King Triton's non-existent asshole. The keyhole they seek is somewhere in the palace. If you can take me there without your daddy knowing, I can help you get to these other worlds you long for. Hmm. Okay, so that's right. Uh, I guess let's just high tail it. Uh, get it. High tail it. Whatever. Uh, let's just get to the palace. And leave Donald's corpse floating behind us. <laughs> the trident is mine at last, and I couldn't have done it without your help, my dear. Ursula, no! I didn't want this! Why not? Aren't you tired of following your dear daddy's orders? Oh, yes. We had a deal, didn't we? Time for a little journey to the dark world of the heartless. We cannot find the keyhole. The keyhole is not here. What? Why, we have company. I'm afraid you're a little late, handsome. <laughs> Oh, stop it. You're making me blush. Daddy! The Trident. We must get it back. Come on, let's go. Wait. I'm going with you. My father is hurt and it's all my fault. I have to stop Ursula. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm right behind you, Ariel! Alright, so we can put Ariel back in our party and I think I will. I'll switch out Doofy again. Because this composition was working out pretty decently. Plus I need to get Donald some levels. Ursula draws her power from her cauldron. To defeat Ursula, you must strike her cauldron with magic. Okay, sweet. Thanks for the info. Dying old man. What happened to you turning into a shrew type thing? I thought that was now, but that's not. Ursula seems to come from the direction of the sunken ship. Hint, hint, hint. I've heard there's some contraption on the wall behind the shipwreck. Hint, hint. Well, let's get healed up real quick. Oh, I forgot. You have to open this up every single time. No, yes. You have to open this up every single time you want to use it. Alright, so we're all healed up, so let's go back towards the sunken ship, and to do that, we'll need to, uh, find that stupid goddamn dolphin again. Oh, what the- oh, right. Okay, so, this is a new enemy. Uh, forget what it's called, but basically acts as, like, a launching off point for the screwdrivers, and it'll shoot screwdrivers at you, and, uh, whenever it dies, it'll spawn three of them. So, be careful with that, I guess. They're not really too big of a deal, they just have a fuck ton of HP. 
Alright. Is there any reason to keep fighting these guys? Not really, I just kind of feel like they take my anger out about aerial stupidity on this. And that's the that's the length of my anger. I'm gonna run away from that because I don't feel like dealing with it. Yeah, these things are pretty fast, too, so they're kind of annoying to try and run away from them. So I'll just kill the big guys, and then I'll run away. They have lightning magic as well, so uh, in this world, lightning uh, resists. resistance is actually a pretty good investment. Oh, uh, I just wasted the heal for nothing. Man, these guys have tons of HP. They have tons of experience, though, so that's nice. We're going to eventually have to clear out the entire ocean again to find that dolphin, so... <sighs> Alright, uh... Dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. Where could you be? I can't wait till we get the ability that makes your rapist ass... ...completely irrelevant. In case you didn't know, dolphins rape people. It's a real thing. Look it up. Alright, so uh, last time we found him up this way. Alright. Where, oh where, could my dolphin be? You know, something I realized, uh, there's a, there's this ability that you're supposed to get called Guard. And I remember always getting it super, super early, like, back in Traverse Town, like, the first time you go there. But, I still haven't gotten it yet. And, I mean, it's not like I gave up the shield, which is what should be making Guard not come up. I picked the sword and I gave up the wand, right? So, I mean, I should have gotten the guard by now, but I still don't have it. And guard is super, super useful. Like, I used it all the time. I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get the shield of the gang. At least. So. Maybe I'll get it soon. And I'm complaining for nothing, but I kind of hope so. <sighs> and there's just endless enemies. Endless fun. It's the motto of Atlantica. Alright, I know the dolphin kind of runs a circuit, but I don't know where the circuit goes through. Okay, this takes us back to the jet stream. So, no point going through here. Okay, this is a bit circle. Uh, hmm. Wait, was that in? No, that was the plan. Oh, this is another save point. I forgot about the tranquil. Wait, this is where we started, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. We never really did go through this path, did we? So I guess let's see what's over around here. Okay, it's just back to this place. Where the dolphin isn't, apparently. Oh, there he is, there he is. Alright, so we gotta kill all these dudes. And then we'll wait here. Man, there's 
four of them? Fuck. Spam until it kills them. Alright. Perfect. Not perfect. Yeah, there we go. Just rat tat tat. Thanks, Donald. High potion. Sweet. Alright, uh. So we saw him right here. I know he does a circuit, so I'm just gonna wait until he shows up again. Which should be any second now. There he is. Shh. Be very, very quiet. Which way is down there? Alright. Come here, you fuck. Alright. So, that's the hardest part of this world done, I believe. For now. Alright. So, back into the sunken ship. I hope we don't have to fight a shark again. Well, fuck. Might as well kick his ass again. No point not to. Except for I don't have any H uh, MP. Oh, fly! I got yeah. <sighs> well, shit. Oh, please now. Please die now. Okay, good. Oh, it fills my MP up too. All right, great. So, it's a good thing we died. Definitely. All right, can't summon. I was gonna try and see if I could try to summon this thing, but I can't. Do you need to have Donald and Goofy only for a summon to work? I thought it was just any party combination, but I guess not. Oh well. You're gonna do this items again? Yeah. High potion ether and better potion. Same thing as last time. Alright. Yeah, so Triton was talking about some weird button behind the ship. I wonder if he meant this thing that we tried to press a while ago. Need some help? I'll show you how it's done. Huh, so that wasn't a natural rock with a fish logo on it. Oh well. Alright, so uh, we're about to get into a difficult fight. So uh, I'm going to use a cottage or something real quick. Uh, let's use a camping set. Alright. And uh, I'm going to set up my magic uh, hotkeys for reasons. Uh, well, I mean, I guess this is okay, because I'm going to need to uh, cast cure quickly. Probably. Alright, this fight is probably, probably one of my least favorite fights in the game. Just based on the mechanics. Uh, I'm not talking about these dies, obviously. I'm talking about the fight after these dies, but... I probably should have waited these camping set. Oh well. We're not getting roughed up at all, so it should be fine. This is a pr pretty cool little area, though. Uh, I forgot which way we go. Let's try this way. Oh, is this... God damn it, it's a save point. You know, I was actually reading this book, uh, Rose Matter by Stephen King, that, uh... I I'm not sure if this is true, but whenever somebody is, like, stuck in a fork in a road, and they have to make a quick decision about which way to go, like if they're being chased by someone. They'll usually uh, pick the direction of their dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, you'll go down the right fork, and if you're left-handed, you'll go down the left fork. So, I, I don't know, that's pretty interesting, I think. <sighs> oh boy. Hmm. 
this thing's pretty creepy. And also, it's entirely not how anatomy works again. Man, look at this. That's some creepy shit. Especially since he took into consideration that these are all people, probably. Because uh, Ursula turns Triton into one of these in the movie, I think. That might be the plot of the second one. I was trying to remember last episode. So, the main fight isn't really against Ursula, it's against the cauldron. You have to uh, cast magic at it to make her vulnerable. And I, th I think she's vulnerable right now. Like, uh, it's based on the color of the cauldron. And, uh, if you haven't figured it out by now, a fire's red, ice is blue, thunder's yellow, etc, etc. Can't attack her while she's doing her little Beyblade impersonation, so... Careful. Alright. Alright, so... Huh. Yeah, I didn't use that laugh, because it's gonna happen in a while. Alright, there's no real reason to focus on the uh, eels. Their names are Flotsam and Jetsam, apparently. Alright. Uh, where are you? There. Thank you for just showing up directly in front of my video. Uh... Uh -huh. Also, the eels whisper really creepily in your ear the entire time. No escape. No escape, loser. Rape your corpse. I don't think they say that last one. I think that's only in Kingdom Hearts 2. God damn it. Shit. Little known fact, uh, the actor that played Jetson is actually the same guy in the cell in, uh, in uh, that movie, Silence of the Lambs. <sighs> you spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, when you go down now. Yeah, oh, that's mine. <laughs> Man, Ursula is a tanky bitch. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck, I can't get my items out fast enough. Whew. This is gonna be a toughie. Alright, so while I'm uh, doing this boring slog, uh, I haven't drank Red Bull in a long time, and I just shot down a Red Bull before I started doing this recording. And I'm getting that weird thing where it feels like you're floating above your body. And I think that's a bad thing, and I might need to go to the hospital. But, uh, I'll finish this episode first, because, you know, I care about you guys. Uh... I'm, like, sweating and everything. This is awful. I should never drink Red Bull again. This episode brought to you by Red Bull. Uh, I think when there's like the dream uh, aura around the tall train, casting magic on it does nothing, so that's why I'm just going around in circles. There we go. Alright, finally. So now we can just beat the shit out of this old woman, and hopefully we can kill her, but I doubt it. We'll probably do that again. I think I have this unlock, I say, before I probably die in 10 seconds, but yeah, this is another fight that I remember getting stuck on for a long time as a kid, and that was because I, I just never figured out the cauldron thing, and I stepped on wailing on her, and I was like, man, she's just so tough, I can't do damage, but it turns out that she was just pretty much invincible. 
Alright, is that enough? No. I want to escape. Please stop telling me I can't escape. Ursula is the worst. Oh shit, I'm out of MP. I have any. Alright, good. I have one last ether. I thought I was out. And that was about to be really, really sad. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh no, no. What? Uh, 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 uh. I cast the spell by not interrupted. Damn it. Let's go. We must get the trend back. Learn shared ability, mermaid kick. Great, so to swim faster against currents, equip this and press circle repeatedly. That means we never have to deal with the dolphin ever again, so we're gonna equip that as fast as we can. Alright, so now we can swim fast. Yay. Alright, uh, is there anything important in here? Besides this goddamn fucking stupid cauldron. Uh, no. This is where Ursula went through. It's all clogged up. Let's for look for another way. Alright, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, can we open this slam? Uh, examine. How? There. It's closed tight. Magic probably won't work. So, well. <laughs> That's another issue about uh, Atlantica, is that uh, once you get the mermaid kick thing, you'll have to accidentally activate it all the time when you're trying to swim up. What is this? A sea urchin is hiding. It's not hiding, it's clipping through the ground. Well, anyway, we gotta go find uh, Ursula real quick. Uh... I should probably refill my items since I made a chance. Because we're about to get into a fight that's a lot less hard, but infinitely more terrifying. If that makes sense. Alright, so let's do high potions. Meta ether says I got a ton of those. And let's do an elixir. Alright. Still no reason to fight these dudes, so we won't. Uh, is this the right way? Well, if it's not, it's. Yeah, this is the way to save point. Whoops. Well, we get, uh,. A nice little heal like this, so might as well. Alright, so... Oh wait, is this the shark back? No, it's just normal on mace. Great. Alright, so... Just quit swim past all these dudes. It's weird how the calm depths is the place where the water is like the most turbulent. But anyway. Uh, now that we have the uh, quick swim ability, we can swim against this tide. So, let's do that. And, uh... We go in through here. To... Oh! Huh? Oh, 
You see what I mean about infinitely more terrifying? Yeah, so this fight, hard as shit. And it's starting to take me forever. So, might as well get started. Uh, the only place you can attack is her head, I believe. Oh shit, fuck. Alright, uh... She has an attack where she'll, like, suck up water. And, uh, you can swim against the current, like you did uh, down here. This is the safest place to be. If you get here, you're building. And just wail on the back of her neck. But she'll always eventually get the drop on you and turn around. Yeah, so she's doing all this King Ghidra shit and spitting lightning out of her mouth, but we're not going to be able to see that because we're just going to be smacking the back out of her necklace. It's also relatively safe above her, so whenever she turns to face you, just swim over her head instead of trying to swim around. No, I want to be ready for this. Stop. Uh, there's also an attack that she has that she'll probably do relatively soon, but she'll raise her trident up in the air. And that means swim away as fast as you can. Oh shit. Alright, I, I messed up. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, that's close. For some reason I couldn't heal. Oh no. There's two attacks that have an AoE. Oh shit. Yeah, that attack might insta-kill me on hard. Stop, you cunt. Okay. Alright, there we go. But she's not going to be doing that. Fuck, 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 fuck. She'll do this attack just constantly from now on, I'm imagining. This is also a really good fight to uh, invest some uh, thunder resistance into. Because all these attacks, these beams are thunder beams. Shit, 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 shit. Alright. Yeah, you just had point and stick away and mash to get that. Why can't I swim up? Okay, I, I was stuck in the quick swim animation for some reason. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, alright. Yeah, so this is the first, but definitely not the last, of these fighting a gigantic immobile boss that just does AoE crap all day. And uh, this is probably the easiest one of those, so I'm in for a fun time when I get to the other ones. Or other ones, specifically, is what I'm thinking of. But that won't be for a while. Fuck. Shit. God. I swear, it's like every time I get close, she does, she'll do that. Bitch. This is the worst. This is the absolute worst. Wait, wait. 
damn it. No, no, no. I'm not even mad anymore. I'm just disappointed. She's attracted to me. Should be the other way around, but oh well. Mm. Alright, so if you get caught in the wrong end of this, just swim as fast as you can to the side. I haven't hit her in like five minutes. Perfect, there we go. Alright, maybe I can end this, maybe I can end this. Alright, I'm going for it. Alright. First try. I'm surprised. I thought this is going to take me like literally all day, but I got it. Yay. Yeah, choke, bitch. Oh, I'm melting. What a world. Yeah, fuck you. Give me that, Triton. Daddy, I'm so sorry. Please don't be angry with her. It's my fault. You followed Ursula because I wouldn't let you follow your heart. And when you found that crystal, I lost my temper and destroyed it. Oh yeah, the crystal. Why did you destroy it? That crystal held the power to reveal the keyhole. The keyhole is dangerous. I have to keep you away from it at any cost. Daddy. Key bearer. I have one more request. Seal the keyhole. Well, that's a change of heart. Okay. My trident also holds the power to reveal the keyhole. Will you do it? Of course. That's what we had in mind from the start. Where is the keyhole, Daddy? You should know better than anyone. It's in your grotto. Oh my. Really? Sora, let's go. Attain the power of thunder, so we got Thundera now. We also got Ansem support. Th oh shit, I've been forgetting to read those. Okay, uh, I think I might do that at the end of this episode, so. Before we do that, uh, it's time to go once again back to the Dorato and uh, see what we, get, what we can do there. I'm so glad I have this quick swim thing now. Oh shit. Except for when that happens. This quick swim locks you into a direction, so you can't just mash circle absentmindedly like I want to. Alright. Tell me, Sora, your world, 
What's it like? Oh, about that. Sorry for lying to you. <laughs> it's okay. Besides, if you can travel to other worlds, maybe I can too. So many places I want to see. I know I'll get there someday. I'll find a way, somehow. I'm sure of it. Well, if you find it, do me a favor and leave me out of it. This is from my collection. I want you to have it. Sora obtained Crap Claw. Alright, so I'll look at that real quick before I forget. Uh, I'm probably not going to use it because uh, it raises your MP and I'm not much of a magic guy. It also enhances magic and summon power. And I've not used either of those except for, I've had, except, except for when I've had to. So yeah, Crab Claw is not for me. Also deals good physical damage. Well, hold on a second. Powerful up and stiff culture reflects. I mean, there's not really much of a downgrade. Difficult to deflect. I, I don't even really know what that means, stat-wise. Huh. Well, I guess I'll just use the Crab Claw then, so fuck it. I'll prove myself wrong. So now we got the Crab Claw, and it looks dumb as all hell, but I mean, we'll try it out. So, uh, now we are pretty much done with the Atlantica, so we can leave when we want to. I think we'll do that in the next episode, but before I sign off, I'm going to uh, take a look at those Ansem journals. Right now we have Report 1 and Report 3. Huh, so... I'm debating whether I should wait until I have like, you know, one through four or five through eight or something to read them chronologically if I should just read them as we pick them up. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I can read them chronologically because that'll then make more sense. So yeah, we're not going to read these just quite yet until we get like one through four maybe and I'll read one through four. So. Alright, never mind. I guess I will end just send this off episode off here. I'm just stumbling all over myself. Okay, well, anyway. Bye!